It oh. is. Yeah. All right. Let me show you in the green stuff. Okay, Tai Tai. Where's Tai Tai Look. Tai Tai, go eat your hot dogs. Kitchen. Eat your dinner. All right. I'm so. here. Against my own will. Just so you guys know. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I have convinced my other half to do the girlfriend uh, lesbian tag with me. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Ow. Is it> <laughs> <laughs> so um, <laughs> one of the first questions, uh, I got all these questions from everybody else. You know what I mean? So. Um, if any of you guys have any other questions, you can ask us in the comment box. Whatever. Such a nerd. I am a... Whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I'm a nerd now. So, lesbian, girlfriend, tag, Tar81, and Ray Diggity. Um, so, uh, first question for both of us to answer, where did we first meet? We met in San Francisco at uh, Club Faith. I think it was... a. Uh, 2000, shit, 2000, 2000, 2000, yeah, right, 13 years, yeah, it was 2000, 2000. okay, yep, so we, um, Club Faith in San Francisco, we met in a club, um, Club Faith, like she said, um, San Francisco, California, 2000, um, I know that we set our anniversary date, Sometime in August, August yeah. twenty. Our anniversary date is August twenty seventh. Sometime um, in August. But we did meet sometime in August, shortly you after my birthday. <laughs> sometime in August. So, shortly after my birthday. Um, so yes, we met in a club. Um, there um, was a couple <laughs> of different. I know I, I like brain farted for a second. <laughs> I wanted to say something, but I hella forgot. Um, but in this club, um, I was at the club by myself. Um, I was kind of a dork like that. I really didn't trip off of going places by myself, so every once in a while I would. I would just drive out to the city uh, from um, Concord to San Francisco uh, to this club. I think I was still kind of trying to find myself, and so uh, I found her. What do you mean, find the yourself? Yeah. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by find myself? Yeah. I mean, I, I got out. Um, I was in the military, That's so okay. I was in the military. Um, I was in the Navy to be exact, and I got out on an honorable discharge in 2000 um, because basically the don't don't ask, don't tell policy. Um, it was actually kind of embarrassing. Uh, me and a friend I had at the time, we both um, decided we were gonna go and you know say that we were um, you know gay basically, so that we um, could you know <laughs> uh, you know gay. <laughs> Right. So that we um, we could get out, and um, it was a very stressful time. Um, it was it was a little embarrassing the way that they did it uh, back then in the military. They make you go before a board and ask you questions about why are you gay. I mean, it's really kind of uh, intense. So we had to you know stand before our, um, our captains of the ship and shit like that, and you know explain why we were gay. It was actually kind of a trip. And be honorable about. And be honorable about it. Licking pussy. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we could we couldn't tell. We couldn't. <laughs> it was really crazy tell because we why. couldn't um, we couldn't incriminate ourselves by saying that we had actually done anything while we're in the because we we never did anything, but we were <laughs> we conspired to tell our story together so that we could get out. So that's how I ended up getting out the military. Uh, this was in 2000. Um, this was in 2000, and then shortly after, um, I started going to these clubs that were gay clubs because I felt like I discovered myself and my sexuality, and then that's when uh, <laughs> I ran into <laughs> super fly ass right. <laughs> that's how I felt. That's that's like how, yeah. <laughs> I was dancing on the techno side of the club because that's what I was into at the time, uh, and she was on the hip-hop side of the club. I don't even think she was supposed to be in the club because... I was 18 and she was 17 uh, when we met, and so she was in there with a fake ID, so I don't even think she was supposed to be in the club. It was kind of crazy. She had drink and everything. I couldn't even fucking drink. She was walking around with a drink. That's why I say super fly. Forgot, forgot about that. Yeah, super, super fly, right? <laughs> yeah, I can tell you exactly what shirt she was wearing. I don't remember what I was wearing, but uh, 
She was wearing this blue uh, button-up shirt. It had a, uh, it was like, it was royal blue and sky blue, and I think it had like a little Buddha or something like on the side of it. You know, so I remember what she was wearing. I thought she looked she fucking tight. great. I had some um, white and blue Jordans. Had the shit going on with the goddamn. Yeah. yeah. She probably can't tell you what I was wearing, and honestly, I I I can't tell you either. I probably wasn't matching. I. I I'm sure. I remember what you had on. Yeah, she doesn't I remember. remember you had on some shades. They were In the like club? yellow. They were like yellow though. <laughs> they were yellow. Her was like a hippie almost. Yeah, it was kind of like a hippie. But she was cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, she had like a. When did your hair? I think your hair was dyed too. I don't know what color I think my your hair, hair was. was dyed, like it might have been blue. Like the kind of color you got right there. Stay with the blue streak. Oh, you can't even tell. It's, it's been so long, y'all. Somewhere. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a while. So long. Um, but I remember walking up to her and she was standing there by herself on the hip hop side. <laughs> Something she ain't used to. But now she's telling me nowadays she, you know, she always been gangster. But anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. Gangster. Yeah. Um, and I walked up to her and I said, you know, like, why are you standing here by yourself? And it just went from there. I don't know. I. Yeah. I seen, I was looking at her, like, I was kind of stalking her a little bit. Um, I think I had, like, some, like, kind of stalking, like, traits or something. I don't know. She um, still does. I do kind of, like, a little bit. I don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, kind of, like, shy talking about this right now, but. Oh, it was cool. It was, it was a long time like, ago. It was, it was 13 ago. years ago. I don't remember ago. the exact details, to be honest, so. But I was, I was scoping her in the club. I seen her walk by a couple times, um. Honestly, you know, uh, when I first seen her, you know, I felt like I was, I felt like I was sprung, but I, um, and this was the first time I seen her, you know, but I kind of thought that, I don't know, I thought like you were like too fly for me. (laughs) Yeah, that's how it was. That was the mind frame it was. So, uh, next question. At the same time, I feel like I needed like a good girl. And I thought you were a good girl until I found out later on what was really fucking going on. <laughs> what was really no, going on? No, but you are though. You are. Yeah. Right, next question. <laughs> I feel red. <laughs> uh, where was our first date? That was the first question. And you got how many? I got like Gosh. 18 questions. There's a lot of questions. Oh, She's in my little eyes. Isn't she? Uh, you where was our first date? I think we both... Um, we kind of go back and forth with this, and it's kind of crazy because the the spot that we went to for our first official date, we went. They're both located in the same area, so I have a different uh, vision. I think that we went to the Olive Garden uh, for our first date, and you think I Red think Lobster? We went to Red Lobster, yes. We go back and forth with this like all the time because I don't know why one of us thinks otherwise. But uh, how do you feel about the first date? That's what I want to know. How do I feel about the first mm-hmm. date? I don't know. I'm like hella corny. I was all like square. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I would think that I would probably was trying to get the door for you and little corny stuff like that. Uh, and vice versa. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. I was just like really shy. You know, um, I hadn't really dated a girl, so it was really new for me. Um, just the whole experience and I guess who plays what role uh, Mm. so to say I mean I'm not going to necessarily say that I try and play a role now um, but I think you know at that time when I was a little bit younger because it was kind of new to me I I didn't know exactly where I stood you know what I mean I think I'm like we have it's crazy to have to explain these things because we have different backgrounds you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I've i never had a serious relationship with a female, except for in Tart. I've been with other females, been with them, but nothing. Like, <laughs> been with them, but not like, a, not nothing serious, you know what I mean? So, it was kind of something new for both of us. So, we just kind of had to find ourselves, I feel. Um. You were? I think I was kind of aggressive initially. A little bit. 
Uh, but anyway, back to the club. So I'm looking all over for her. Um, and come to find out, hold on. Okay. Come to find out, um, later on down the line, I remember driving in the car with the two of them uh, on the way home uh, when the club was closing or whatever. And uh, I remember, I can still remember, she was like, damn, that's kind of, or I think Carla was like, that's Wait a messed minute. up. No, because I took my car. Or no, she took her car. No. And I thought I, I drove with you. How the fuck did we get out to the club? It don't even matter. What matters is Ray was Covered. in the club Forgot. kissing somebody else somewhere in that motherfucker under the stairs some wide. Dear old sweet <laughs> innocent me. Under the stairs, though? <laughs> kissing under the stairs <laughs> while sweet innocent me was looking all over for her and never found her. Her friend knew too. It was cold. She was kind of mean like that. Who? So, you. Y'all gotta get this understanding, okay? I used to be a player. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, no. Nah. <laughs> okay, yeah, just a little bit. But I wasn't exactly committed to her, so I knew other people. But I didn't know that she felt the way that she felt. You know? Even though I cared about her, like, off top, and I really did like her, I just... I was stuck in my ways, I guess you could say. She played me. I played initially. I played you. Uh, you were stalking me though. You're like kind of weird. Whatever. Oh, so I was kind of <laughs> weird. She still calls me weird. This is whatever though. You know, somebody you like weird. Okay. I'm weird too. So. I could be weird. Next question. Um, who said I love you first? This is just... <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Who said I love you first? Um, honestly, I can't remember. I can't really remember who said, well, <laughs> I can't really remember who said I love you first, but I think that I can remember, like, at the exact point where maybe we both felt serious. Um, I think you were still kind of getting over your ex. I remember being at your mom's house and um we we had something going on at the time and um i remember there were some tears shed and i didn't understand why um from this one over here she was crying yes that's why she's looking away she was crying um crying yeah why can't you just say I was like emotional? Okay, excuse like me. She was be, Okay, she was very like emotional. Like boo -booing and shit. Like what the fuck? She was emotional um because Don't I Don't worry about that. Why are you telling all my goddamn business? It was some whole other shit going on, okay? She was still fucking with someone else and I was sincere. That's what was the fuck was going on. But no, she wasn't, wasn't exactly that. over. No, it wasn't. I had just broken up with that person a week before I even met you. It was a week. And the bitch was older. You know how them older bitches, they be having I believe they were ass. still having sex at some point in our relationship. She wanted to, but I didn't. You told me you was at her house. So to sum it up, who, says I who said I love you first? Um, I think we just agreed that we loved each other. Like, we didn't want to come out and be like... Is this like for real? Is this serious? Yeah, we were pretty serious uh, initially after we got through a couple bumps. So I, I don't think that we could uh, we could really agree and say and say you know I said it or she said it. I think that it was kind of a mutual uh, mutual 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 mutual, <laughs> <laughs> mutual agreement uh, that we loved each other. So um, next question. This is great. What is a pet peeve or bad habit either has um, mm. that one of us doesn't like about each other? You know what I mean? You know what I'm sorry, trying to say. You go first. You want me to go first? Yeah. I see, man. You want me to? You really want me to go first? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Um, do I? What don't I like? Okay, it's like really silly. So, she likes to like play with me out of nowhere. There's nothing wrong with it. But, like, for some reason, I can get really easily ag agitated. If, like, for instance, example, she does some shit like this. 
<laughs> okay, that really you fucks with me. I just want to feel your That mood. really messes with me out of nowhere. I, for some reason, I just really have a problem with that. Like, why did you just instantly? I'm not prepared for you to be like all up in I'm here like that. Finger salty. <laughs> I figure it's salty. We're barbecuing, okay? But yeah, she does that, and then sometimes barbecuing. oh oh, and then another thing. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. It was cool. Slap a tickle, whatever. But sometimes. She'll like slap the shit out of my ass like I don't know where. She got a dunk dunk, but I can't help it. So I just gotta. It's mine. I should be able to do what I want to do with it. What is your pet peeve or uh, habit that you don't like about me? I can guess. She ain't gonna wanna hear it. <laughs> she ain't gonna wanna hear it. She has this thing where she goes. <laughs> I call it glunking. She glunks. And I can't stand it. She says her throat is itching. Her fucking ears or something. And she goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, all right. I know you can do it. Okay, so my throat and shit be oh, itching, right? Bullshit. And I have allergies. And so I'm like, you don't do this shit at work. I've been doing this gotta, for years. I'm like, like why like, you gotta come home and do it? Okay, so it's like this. Like, it's stupid. Understand. It's stupid, like, but seriously. it helps me. Like, my throat. <laughs> okay, she made me sound like a pig. And and she shit. does it for a hell of a long time. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I knew, I knew she yeah, was going to say Sometimes that. it gets louder. <laughs> you know, like when I tell her to stop, it gets louder, and then it stops. It's retarded. It's ridiculous. Okay, what's she talking about? Okay. Throw she don't do this shit in public. She don't do it. I do, before. like, I secretly, like, do it. Okay, so I'll be like, okay, my throat's itching. I'll be like. <coughs> yeah. They'll be like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hissing and fucking growling and shit. Okay. What is that? She don't like that. I've been doing that shit for years since I was like a little kid. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me that y'all seen because y'all seen that. Okay. Somebody else's throat itches and they scratch it just like that. Okay. Next question. Uh, what was your first impression of each other? Girl, bye. No. <laughs> Waiting. Your first. On first, okay. A first expression or expression. <laughs> a first impression of Ray. Uh, like I said, I kind of touched on that earlier. We already said it. We, we met in the club. So next question. I thought she was, you know, fly. I, I thought she was beautiful when I first seen her. I, I thought she was. Things have changed. Really. I didn't got off fucking chunky. And we're both kind of. You know. We're fluffy, older now. Come on, dude. We've been together fluffy, for 13 years. You don't expect us like. One of us to gain a little bit of weight and one of us, anything. You motherfucker. <laughs> one of us. Yeah, I'm the fluffy lover. <laughs> That's all right. I love my fluffy lady. What? What's your favorite memory of each other or with each other? <laughs> I'll go first. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a little bit huh. explicit. I love you, baby. Um, explicit. I love you too, baby. We love you too, baby. Do you, do you love me? Yeah. Come here. Come love here. you too. Okay, so my 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 uh most memorable uh, come here, get in here, get in here. What's on your nose? Sit right here. Okay, and of course we got the little one right here. What's up, man? He looked real yellow on this video. Don't scratch your nose. Come here. Sit right here. You see the camera over there? Say hi real quick. Say hi and bye. Back up. Say hi. Look, look. Say hi. <laughs> Damn. Look. Oh boy, you look bright. Okay, bye. See. You. Let yeah, me look like extra bright on the camera. Hella camera. bright. Okay, my most Goodnight. memorable. Uh, Good night, mommy. Good night. Memorable uh, memory with her. Um, it was <laughs> it was a sexual experience. Uh, I hate to you know be like oh, <laughs> the cat just scratched the shit out of me. Crazy. Um. Uh, yes, it was a sexual. Ex <laughs> It was a sexual experience that we had um, early in our relationship um, <laughs> in the back of my car. <laughs> back up. Yeah. Um, that was... I remember that. I mean, there's other, like, you know, things that I could... But I, I really, uh, <laughs> I really remember that. <laughs> Feel really, really shy right now. And on I'm the like, spot. hold on. What was the question? Your, uh, what's your 
most memorable moment? Yeah, what's your, or well, excuse me, your favorite memory? Favorite, that was your favorite? Yeah. For real? Yeah. For real. Like water gun. What? <laughs> yeah. oh water gun. Huh. Huh? <laughs> you were dead. I don't even know what to say right now. Like I'm kind of stuck. Um, see. I'm in my car. <clears throat> okay. Honestly. I got this. We've had a lot of good memories. Bad too. I got my a lot of good memories, a lot of bad memories, ups and downs, I got my thick and thin, it is what it is, but honestly, when I've seen this woman give birth to our baby, it was like the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen, like seriously, and like through her whole pregnancy, it was just a miracle to me. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a little mushy now. Yeah. It's me. Oh, that was sweet. I didn't know that. She's about good. to start crying. We're gonna cry. I'm not crying. Like, I'm good. So, yes. But I'm just saying. What's your favorite movie? Was your favorite movie or was my favorite movie? No. I'm, I know, okay, I know her favorite. Her, I think I know her favorite movie is, um, with fucking Patrick Swayze. No, hell no. That's not your, yeah, that's your favorite. No. Ghost? No! <laughs> that a ghost, like, for real. Ghost. That's not your favorite movie? You told me that, that was your my favorite, favorite movie. movie. No, I didn't. You a damn liar. <laughs> you a damn liar. I watched it. My grandma used to like it, but that's not my <laughs> Okay, what's my favorite movie? I fuck no, I, I missed that question. Guess again. Is it set at all? That's my favorite movie. <laughs> well, my favorite movie is set at all. Oh, no, I can't answer that question. I know that. We're going to cut somewhere in here. Ask a question again. So, what's your favorite movie? 